Taurus, welcome back to the channel, Empress Light. It's me, Tony, back with your channel messages for the day. We're going to look into your, your love and romance energetics. Now I have my neighbors that usually don't sit outside. They're sitting, <laughs> they're sitting in their backyard, two females, right? <laughs> Watching me so intently and closely. <laughs> Not to mention my neighbors that I live, literally live in the same building with behind me right now watching me there's nothing else to do out here except for sit in the hot sun and uh prepare to prepare sunday's dinner basically <laughs> but in the meantime let's enjoy our day <laughs> let's watch these men out here uh let's see so you could have someone watching you at this time taurus you could be dealing with a manager or a supervisor or i'm not sure how important this person is to you how closely related to you this person is i don't think this is judgment i think this is just like um not introspection like not reflection five of embers competition okay this is change this is the prop paparazzi card exactly people watching you <laughs> right trying to be all up in your energy here hmm Let's reground the message for Taurus. What's the love messages for Taurus today, Spirit? What's the incoming romantic energy? All right, we got the two of bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> People are watching you, wanting to come towards you, wanting to share in some sort of a cup with you, wanting. <laughs> yeah, wanting. So I'm getting. I want to get to know you, Joe, and I'm getting that older song. <laughs> getting to know you <laughs> uh let's see five off the top you got the four of bubbles there's an offer coming towards you here you may end up refusing this offer or you may not see it coming or this could be you trying to balance yourself mm, maybe you're avoiding uh romantic relationships at this time or this could be that person that's coming towards you. Maybe they have not been in a relationship. It's been uh, emotional stagnancy, possibly boredom. Yeah, two of cups into the four of cups. Two of gems. Yeah, they're, they're trying to ground themselves. They're trying to gain some sort of a stability here. This could be them juggling. Mm -hmm. Juggling their emotions, drug, juggling their work life. Four of gems. So we have a 22 synchronicity and a 44 synchronicity. <laughs> and the bubbles and the gem suit so again yeah someone is um at this time they're saving here this could be like a penny pincher this could be someone very miserly but i'm getting like a lot of resting here as well well the four of gems is my humbling card this is someone living a humble life we have the sun card joy right mm -hmm. happiness can come in all forms so this could be a uh, wish fulfillment or some sort of an enlightenment headed towards you. This could also be joy and children coming towards you. And then we have the eight of bubbles. Yeah, okay, so walking away or detoxing. Mm -hmm. So someone could have recently walked away from a situation. Uh, maybe this was a job or maybe this was some sort of a relationship here. Okay, so what it's giving me is someone still have a, has a bad taste in their mouth in regards to some sort of a, um, ooh, maybe, yeah. See, that's what happens when you have a relationship with people that you work with. Someone had to walk away from a relationship and a job, right? They were making friends at work, <laughs> getting into all sorts of connections at work, creating soul ties at work. The two of gems and the two of pinnacles. <laughs> And then we have the four of gems. I'm sorry, the four of cups and the four of gems. So now they're resting their emotions. Possibly their finances are dwindling or there's a pause in their finances at this time where this person is realizing that they need to chill out, right? Meditate, recalculate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, didn't DMX have a song called Meditate um, or something like that a few years back? You had the eight of bubbles in the sun card. It almost feels like someone walked away from something that made them happy. I don't want to say walked away from children, uh, but they're walking away from something that made them happy. Now, this could be someone trying to control someone through children, possibly, for Taurus. Could be dealing with a Leo, the center of attention. This would be like uh, the two differences would be someone saying that I want to make you happy for the rest of your life versus someone saying I'm going to make you hate me. 
is what I'm getting. Okay. Good luck with that one. <laughs> For Taurus, I think Taurus, they they really care about their uh, their stability and their dependability, right? When people coming, what comes toward them needing help, right? I mean, cows, right? We use cows for everything, right? Cow hide, leather, food, everything. So Tauruses are very supportive, right? If no one else has it, Taurus has it, right? The Empress of the Zodiac. Very Venusian, very sensual here. Yeah, this, oh, okay. So this could be someone that's upset that they can't have you. Either they can't afford you either they're not on the same level as you emotionally like i have women vetting other women for me in my personal life and i'm like that person ain't even on my level like don't come to me with this type of person like you obviously don't know me if you're trying to bring this person to me queen of gems and the king of storms yeah opposites attracting as above so below now there's definitely an opportunity or possibility that um you know i'm getting getting that usher love in this club or whatever the case may be people thinking that they could find love in a club it's, it's absolutely possible right and opposites can attract but what do we have here king of storms like i'm a libra man and the longest relationship i had and i had kids out of that relationship was with a capricorn woman right it has above so below opposites attracting so um, yeah, this could be someone that feels like um, they want you, but they can't have you or something like that, Taurus, in regards to your love life. <laughs> you killing them out here, Taurus. You're looking like the sun. Meanwhile, this person is stuck in like two of pentacles, um, four of pentacles, four of cups energy. They are wanting that two of cups with you. This could even be someone feeling like they are on your level, but really they're not, right? This person could be pump faking or putting on some sort of a mask. I want to get a break deck message to clarify this uh, this uh, channel message that I'm getting here. Four bubbles again. Yeah. Confirmation. This person is going to end up, you're going to end up walking away from this person. Well, this person is walking away from something. And the other thing that women don't realize is that men watch who you date. They watch who your last ex-boyfriend is. That also counts. It's not just about your body count, right? We look at who your ex-boyfriend is. Even even women, women look at who your your um, your ex girlfriends are, but it's different. And I have to speak from a male's perspective. We look at your ex boyfriend and be like, "That's the dude you chose. Like that's your relationship history." <laughs> like yeah, and men will avoid you because of that. Like, wow, you mess with dirty dance. Why would I sleep with or be in a relationship behind a dirty Dan? Like these seats that I'm sitting on, like when I go to work, I have to wipe my desk off uh, every day with alcohol. Like I'm not just going to sit down or participate in circles or places that other people that probably don't care about what they're doing. Right. People not in just getting in unfulfilling relationships, having sex without protection, spreading their business and gossip. Right. Like they think they're high value, but they're doing low vibrational shit. Anyways, that's what I have for you here, Taurus. Keep being the empress. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Catch you on the next one. Peace.